everybody, it's Claire. Happy Web Dev Wednesday. We are back with another tutorial on loops in JavaScript. This week we're talking about the while loop. So you can see right here the basic anatomy of your while loop. So um, you write while and then put your condition right here in the parentheses. You don't need to initialize or add in here. You, If you're going to use something like the for loop we saw last week, you'll want to make a variable and then evaluate the condition and then execute your code here. And you have to remember to add on to the variable if you're doing it that way or increment your loop in some way or else it's going to be infinite and it's going to go on forever. So something needs to change um, in the code you execute so that the condition could be false later on. Okay, and then there's a variation on the while loop called a do while um, that's very, very similar. It looks like this. You just write do, and then in your curly braces, you have your code to execute. And then after that block of code in the curly braces, you write while with your condition in the parentheses. And the difference is the do while loop will always execute once, at least. It'll execute, and then it checks the condition. Whereas in our regular while loop, it checks the condition first. So it's possible that it doesn't run at all. Okay, we're gonna hop into an example. Um, this is the same page. Um, if you look here over in the JavaScript file, we still have our for loop in here. I'm just gonna change this to a while loop. So we can do this exact same thing with a while loop. Um, we're gonna have it say while i is less than the color's length, but we don't have an i, so I'm going to have to initialize it outside of our loop here. So while that i is less than the color's length, we're going to do what we did last time where we pull the color in that position and put it in a box, but we do need to remember to increment up within our loop. So if we save this and refresh our page, now we should have a while loop doing the exact same thing, and it does. Um, just to demonstrate what happens if I take this I out probably the same thing but it's going to keep running like forever <laughs> you know which is not what we want you want to increment these up so that the loop will end um, and you know we could start at another position we'll just start at four and as you'd expect it's going to start at this zero one two three four position which is blue um, we can do this as a do while loop as well so I'm going to remove this while, just say do this while i is less than colors.length. It's going to do the same thing because we have the number we are on in here. If we just had it do just the first color no matter what. it's gonna all be purple but okay so what I wanted to do here was say I equals like 10 something that's not in the like we don't have 10 positions there's the length is less than 10 so this is going to evaluate to false but because it's a do while it should execute one time yep before exiting even though this is evaluating to false it still happens once but I like it the way it was <laughs> where it does what we want it to do. And we have options for what loop we want to use. I hope you found this helpful, you guys. I know it's a short one, but do while, once we understand how a loop works um, to execute the same code over and over again, um, it's not as complicated. So just remember while just evaluates our condition and then does whatever's in the curly braces. Do while will always evaluate once. So depending on what functionality you need one of these two loops might be a better fit than the for loop anyway guys thanks for watching um remember i post new videos every wednesday so i will see you next week bye you guys